Yo guys, what's going on? And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the issue of your game settings not saving here inside of Fortnite Chapter 3. I'm talking about when you make changes in your Fortnite Chapter 3 settings and then you reset your game only to see that they haven't actually saved. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix this so you never get this issue ever again. So guys, the first thing that you are going to want to go ahead and do is head to your desktop just like I have. And now guys, once we are here, we are actually going to go ahead and click the Windows plus R key on our keyboard at the same time and it should bring up this little run box right here. Now from here guys, we are going to go ahead and type in percent local app data percent. And then from here, go ahead and click on OK. Now, once you're here, it should bring you to this section here. And you are going to go ahead and scroll down until you do actually see Fortnite game, guys, which should be somewhere in here, depending on how much stuff you do have, but right here. And if you guys can't find it, then go ahead and type it in the search bar at the top. But from here, go ahead and double click on Fortnite game and then into saved and then into config. And from here, you guys are going to uh, see these two folders here. You're going to go ahead and ignore those, but you are going to go ahead and right click on the client settings.sav and then go ahead and go into properties or you can of course go ahead and click alt enter and from here guys just open that and we now don't actually need this file here in the background now if you guys do have the issue where your fortnite game settings aren't saving your screen should look exactly like mine and by that i mean you might have your read only box on now if your read only box is ticked this is the exact issue why your fortnite game settings are not saving and every single time you go ahead and reset your fortnite game all of your settings are resetting back to the default so what you guys are going to want to go ahead and do to fix this issue is simply untick the box, click on apply and then click on OK. Now it sounds mad, but it is literally as simple as that, guys. I did actually do a video of this quite a while ago, but I just thought I'd make an updated version for you guys in Fortnite Chapter 3, as I do know that a lot of people are actually still struggling with this issue inside of Fortnite. So I do hope that that did actually clear that up for you guys. And also for more videos like this in the future, make sure you guys hit the sub button, hit the like button and hit the post notification bell as well, as I'm doing content like this all the time, guys. But that is going to be everything I do have for today's video, guys. Guys, thank you to you all for watching and hope to see you all in the next one.